Welcome back to IBL South by Southwest Expert Showcase. I'm here joined by Gina Suzanne. What are we going to be talking about today, Gina? I'm so excited. Um, a lot of the times as entrepreneurs, we are inherently doing so many things and it's hard to get your time back. Um, so one of the biggest hacks that I've learned over consulting and running different um, startups is leveraging outsourced hires yeah. offshore um, to get your time, money, and freedom back so you can work on your business instead of in your business. So that's what I'm going to go over today. Let's do it. Dive right. on in. How do we do that? All right. So I'm actually going to take you back a little bit further on how I discovered or how this all happened. It was 15 months ago to this day, actually. My life completely got flipped upside down. I was living a picture-perfect life. I'd worked with a bunch of startups and I had run my own with my partner who was my boyfriend at the time and we were we had it all like we were living in a Costa Rican beach house you could see the, the rainforest and the beaches and it was amazing and we were making like easily six figures and we had a chef and a, it was like the perfect life and I was like wow like I'm gonna get married to this guy we're gonna make babies we're gonna be like these entrepreneur couple and then my relationship ended and in that one day I had lost my home my relationship my company and most of all my beloved team so I remember I picked up the phone and I called Marge. Marge is my assistant, my right hand, my queen, my everything. And I was like, like I'm leaving. I have to go. Um, and I'm like going back home, like, like 27 years old. I was like going to go back, live home with my, my parents. And I had no idea what to do. And I was like, hey, like I'm leaving. And she's like, I'm coming with you. Coming with me where? I don't have a company, I don't have a job, I don't have anything. And she's like, no, I'm going to work for free until you're up and running again. Like we're going to do this. And she left a stable job with my ex-partner and the whole rest of the team. And then slowly another team member came over and suddenly another team member came over. And that's when I realized the beauty of, first of all, just treating people as humans and just loving them and pouring into them and developing them as your team. Um, but how much you can get done when you don't have to do it by yourself. Mm. So I want to kind of go over because it's easy to identify, yes, I need a right hand, yes, I need support, uh, but actually going out and finding that is where people get stuck. So when I work with clients, usually it's C-level suite executives or solopreneurs, and they're like, I just don't know what to do. Like, I have so much on my plate right now, I just don't even know where to start. Um, and I tell them, okay, if I were to go to you as a sales coach and I'm like, hey, I need help with my sales, they'd be like, great but what are your numbers right now? So if anyone's coming to me and they're like, I need to get stuff off my plate, I'm like, where are we at right now? So I suggest everyone, and this is where I start with all my clients, is what I call a time audit. And if you stick to the end of this short piece of content, I will actually send it out to you. Um, and it's basically a spreadsheet, and I'm having you track your time in 15 minute increments across a week or two. Because I want you to identify, you know, what are the things that you're doing, and then I have you analyze it, you know, is this revenue generating? Can you outsource this? Will you outsource this? Do you want to spend more or less time on each of these things? So you're tracking it 15 minute increments across two weeks, and that's going to give me a lot of data that can say, you know, what kind of person should we hire for you? What should they be doing? And then, like, what kind of person should we have for this task? So I'm not going to teach you, you know, how to be a really good human and take care of your team, but I want to give you some actionable tips on how you can delegate with extreme clarity um, through this time audit. So that's one of the things that you do. And if you, um, and I'll share yeah. that information yeah. at the end. Do you um, ever go, I have a question. Do you yeah, ever go through yeah. this process and you see all their time increments and you're like, you actually don't need to hire somebody else. Never. Never. <laughs> so, so, no, okay. never. Okay. Just because, didn't know that. Yeah. So actually me and my team, we do it every 90 days. Do I keep hitting the mic? I apologize. If you're I good. Um, but yeah, we do this every 90 days because there's always going to be things that creep up onto your schedule and you're like, you know, I don't have to be doing this. I shouldn't be the one doing this. Gotcha. So just like getting those numbers and just like restructuring every 90 days. And people like Tony Robbins, Russell Brunson, like I learned these from this, these guys yeah. working alongside them, being in their masterminds and just getting this valuable because like knowing your numbers is everything. Yes, it is. Yeah. So, so that's like where I like help people start. Where, what else do you want to share with us? Yeah. Today? Yeah. So now that we kind of know uh, what we want to delegate, now it's time to go and find that hire. So I love hiring from the Philippines. They're incredibly loyal. They're incredibly hardworking. Their English and communication skills are spot on. Um, so I like to hire from a site called onlinejobs.ph. You can go there right now, create a free account. Um, and one of my biggest tips is creating a video post. So you can see like, I love working in my company. I love what we do. I want to find someone who also loves and they can see your personality, right? And that attracts the right person for you. If you're more reserved and you want a more reserved person, that's fine. Still do a video job posting. And how I get people to apply back, like you can send me your resume, but like, Barf, that's so boring. Um, I say, film me uh, an application back. 
a minute. I don't even care if you're wearing pants. Like, I just want to see that you're excited for this job and that I can get to know you. So that's kind of how I start vetting my applicants is through video. And I'm like, tell me your proudest achievement. Tell me what you're proud of. And the way they answer those questions gives me so much data about what's important to them and what they treasure and prioritize. And there's so much intel you can get from just a single video, much more than like a copy and paste resume or a cover letter. Thank you for sharing yeah. that with us today. For sure. So where could our viewers find you? Yeah, so um, my name on most social medias is Gina Suzanne. Um, and if you want to email me at Gina, G-I-N-A, at She Grinds, there's no I in Grinds, S-H-E-G-R-N-D-S. -E and uh, if you put Ible in the subject line, I'll send you that time audit so you can start you know, tracking your time and get ready to delegate with extreme clarity. Thank you for doing that yeah, for the folks here at Ible. Johnny, thank you. All right. Well, thanks for being here. Awesome. Cheers.